Hi guys, this is Karthik Arora. In this video, I will be uh, explaining the first problem of the CSES tree algorithm section. So the problem is uh, quite easy, and we are given with the structure of a company, and each employee is numbered from one to n. The employee number one is the general director of the company, and let's call him the head of the company for now. All the other employees we have for every other employee we have a, a manager, right? So some employee number two can have some manager, maybe employee one. So this means that the employee number two directly reports to employee number one, that is the general director. We can have some employee number three and four also. So maybe three also reports to the head of the company. Then maybe we can have uh, employee number four that reports to employee number three, and something like that. So what you get overall is the that the structure of a company is nothing but a kind of a tree, in which the root of the tree is node number one. What you would like to do is you would like to evaluate the total number of subordinates for a particular employee. I'll just show you one example and I'll explain the approach to the problem. So we are given with five employees overall. We have at the top the head of the company. Employee number two directly reports to employee number one. Employee number three directly reports to employee number one. Four employee four reports to two. So for employee number four, the manager is employee number two, and employee number three reports. Uh, employee number five reports to employee number three. So the number of subordinates for the head of the company is one, two, three, and four. and you can clearly see the 4 is the answer for it the number of employees for uh, employee number 2 the number of subordinates for employee 2 is exactly 1 and you can see there is 1 number of subordinates for employee 3 is also 1 that is employee number 5 works directly for employee number 3 and for 4 and 5 there is no uh, no person they manage okay so there are no subordinates for them and we have zero as outputs so all we need to do is for every employee we would like to evaluate the number of subordinates now i'll be explaining you my approach so you can imagine a tree kind of structure and if you see carefully what all you have to do is you have to evaluate the number of nodes in the subtree of a node okay and that is all you have to evaluate here basically so imagine that you have something some this kind of structure what you would like to do is you would like to evaluate the number of nodes in the subtree of this node so let's call this node number 1 and this is the root of the entire tree now for this node you would like to evaluate the number of nodes in the subtree or uh, rooted at this particular node right that minus 1 will give you the number of subordinates because number of nodes in the subtree of this node are exactly 3 and then 3 minus 1 uh, 3 minus itself equals to 2 that is the number of subordinates right for this node the number of uh, let's say this node for this particular node the number of nodes in the subtree rooted at this node is exactly 1 and the number of subordinates is 1 minus 1 which is 0 right so the problem has reduced down to finding the number of nodes in the subtree rooted at a particular node for every node you have to do that let's see how we can evaluate this thing so to evaluate the subordinates for some ith node okay let's try to evaluate the subordinates for some employee number i and uh, uh, ith node may be managed by some other node j for now i will not consider node j i will only consider the tree that is the subtree rooted at node number i right so i will not look at who is be uh, who who is managing node number i i will only look at uh, look at those nodes that are in the subtree rooted at node number i and my initial root of the tree is node number 1 only so what i can do is subset i will simply be uh, let's say that there are some nodes c1 c2 and so on till c let's say that these employees c1 c2 and ck are directly managed by the ith employee then if i knew this number of subordinates for c1 that will be subs of c1 
if i knew the number of subordinates for c2 that is subs of c2 and so until the number of subordinates of ck then i can calculate the number of subordinates for i very easily and how is that so if c1 has let's say two subordinates then this means that those two people are also subordinates for the ith employee because they work for someone uh, who works for it right so they, let's say there is some another guy x and some guy y so you have to, uh, c1 has two subordinates here these two are also the subordinates for i but c1 itself is also a subordinate for i right similarly for c2 c3 so you can come up with the following recurrence for this particular thing you can add these number of subordinates for c1 c2 and so on till ck and plus one for every child right for every node from i from uh, let's say if c1 is a subordinate for i you add one for that so overall is going to be one plus number of subordinates of the ith node right so if the node number i has c k uh, k number of uh, direct edges to some other nodes and those nodes are not the basically parent of i then you have this recurrence and where i goes from 0 uh, i goes from the first child till the kth child and that is going to be your answer for subordinates of i this one that i'm adding here is for ci itself because sub z ci will give me the number of subordinates for employee number ci but ci itself is a subordinate to the employee number i so for that i'm adding a one here for a leaf node or for some node in uh, which has no subordinate or no child basically for that i'm going to have a base case which will be which will tell me that okay sub z leaf node subordinates of a leaf node are exactly equal to zero and this is going to be your overall recurrence and solution time complexity for this turns out to be big o of n so guys hopefully this was clear enough i'll show you my code and i'll also add the link in the description so this is my implementation for the same I've taken this tree kind of uh, structure. I've used a vector tree and you can see that this solve function is going to evaluate the answers for every node from node number one till node number n. Here you can see that this is the integer number of subordinates for every child of this particular employee or node for every child of node i. So that child is not equal to parent. So if I had some parent j, I will forget about the parents for now I will only look at the children nodes I will evaluate the answer for every child of i first and once they have been evaluated I will add those answers plus one to the number of subordinates for node number i and then I will mark answer at that source or answer at ith node to be equal to subordinates so that's it if you found the video helpful do like and subscribe thanks for watching